Capricorn, it is your turn. Capricorn, this is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Here over on YouTube, we're going to do a full oracle spread. And I will definitely turn the camera around so I can share the cards with you. Um, and then the extended link is below where we do a full tarot card spread and a romance reading. So, welcome to the channel. My name is Michelle, guys. If you're just finding me, and thank you so much for finding me, please do click subscribe so you can help the channel grow. And click that bell so you know when I go live. Um, if you are on platforms that allow for commercial interruptions, <laughs> um, there will be one coming in a couple of seconds so that there, there's none that interrupt the message um once let me thank you ahead of time for that because whether you know it or not that is a donation to the channel and i am very very grateful for it so i will see you in a couple of seconds now for those of you who didn't have to uh, wait through for a commercial lucky you for those of you who did once again thank you all right capricorn let's get into your weekly message for the week of november 3rd through the 10th of 2019, for the week of November 3rd through the 10th of 2019, Watch and Wait. Watch and Wait has come out as the energy crowning your reading, but it's come out in reverse. And so what that tells me is you're either coming out of a period of stagnation or you are coming out of a period of um, like things are speeding up. Uh, so. Uh, or you feel, you feel, or yeah, so there's there's a feeling of loss of interest. So you're tired of waiting, you're tired of watching, or you feel like somebody has lost some interest in you, or you feel a disconnect and somehow emotionally from those things around you. Um, there may be a speeding away or just a directional change, a decide to go in a different direction, or a, just a feeling right now that maybe you took the wrong turn or you want to go in another direction. What I do feel absolutely definitely is this feeling of you're tired of waiting. Yeah, you're kind of sick of the stagnation. And I do have to tell you that in a Mercury retrograde, those feelings get the best of all of us. And I don't think it's because time actually slows down during a Mercury retrograde because it, it doesn't. But I think what happens is so many little things pop up to annoy us, it, they end up eating up our time because we're fixing things that don't normally need to be fixed. And if it, we ended up getting frustrated and feel like we're in quicksand because so much time that we used to have, suddenly we don't. And we feel like we're stuck and we feel like we're not getting anywhere because we're so busy dealing with these irritations that we don't normally have to deal with. And, though, and so it causes this perception of time going very, very slow because we do feel like we're stuck. But that's not really the case. We're not stuck. Time is moving. Time is moving, though it may feel like it's moving very, very slowly. This is the energy that is crowning your reading. This is Seahorse. Uh, Seahorse is the Piscean card. It does. It is flipped upside down. So if you have a Piscean in your life, specifically Capricorn, you may be feeling a disinterest or like they're turning away from you or like they're heading in an opposite direction or that you should be heading in an opposite direction from them. It also could mean for others that that you are speeding up. There is something that having to do with emotionally, your emotions are picking up. They're getting larger. They're getting bigger. You're not watching and waiting anymore. You don't have to review. You don't have to vet whether or not this situation or this person is right for you, you're accelerating. And this week, there seems to be an emotional acceleration, whether it's in the direction of things moving forward in a relationship, or it just seems that you want things to move forward faster. There is, there is this sense of urgency of not wanting to wait or be stuck where you are right now. Here is act as if. So, Hmm. This card has many, many meetings for, for me, and I kind of want to keep going to see what the what other cards it's surrounded by. But this is the chameleon card. I feel like for a while you have been in a situation where you are <laughs> pretending like everything is okay. Um, in other words, waiting to see if things were going to be okay in terms of... Um, in terms of the crowning card, you were waiting to see if everything was okay. And you would just sort of like fly on the wall, waiting, waiting, waiting to see if everything is okay. 
and now I think that you're done waiting or the truth has come out and basically now this week you're sort of shedding the skin of trying to be what what you needed to be to fit in and you're just revealing those truths about yourself and about who you really are how you really feel, what's really important to you. I feel like you've thrown caution to the wind. There's almost this frustration aspect of you, this to you this week, Capricorn, where you feel, hmm, you feel like, well, I've tried to be what I was expected to be for everybody else and it didn't work. So forget about it. Forget it. Forget it. Interject a harsher word, if you will. Forget it. Because I have tried and I have done my best and I worked very hard and it and I and I and I invested my time, um, but it doesn't seem to have be, because um, the crowning card is in reverse. It doesn't seem to have um, given you all that you wanted to come out of it. Right? Like the investment was not worth was not the in other words the the. The gain was not worth the investment is that is that is 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 sort of the feeling and the emotion and so you're shedding the skin that you were in and you're sort of revealing you're sort of revealing yourself and you may be revealing yourself in the in the way of um basically letting out your emotions not holding them back anymore um sharing emotions that you maybe had repressed or you want to accelerate something that is emotional in your life you sort of want to bring it to fruition and push it forward reclaim your power this is like getting yourself back again that's what it, that's why i wanted to wait to see these two cards sitting next to each other you are regaining your feeling of who you are this week. You are reclaiming everything that you that you really are that is sincere to you, that you felt has been taken from you because of a loss. Learn from the past. And this is where the throw caution to the wind, and I just heard that sentence repeat in my brain, throwing caution to the wind this week, Capricorn, in that whatever... Um, the, so in other words, this week, there may, either there may be... There may be potential for you to repeat past mistakes because of this feeling of impulsivity or this, this sort of the climate of impulsivity where you don't want to wait and you may be at risk of repeating those same things, mistakes from the past because you have forgotten them because there is a little sense of desperately wanting, <laughs> Did I, I'm not trying to call you desperate, but desperately wanting things to move forward. And so you've almost thrown off whatever happened in the past or whatever was, and you're just sort of stampeding forward, throwing caution to the wind, not really care. I, there was, There is this sense of almost devil may care, which isn't normally you, except in the context of you're really frustrated right now. You're not only frustrated, you've almost sort of had it with waiting for things like you're working for, in other words, with playing by the rules, playing by the rules doesn't seem to have gotten you anywhere. And so you're pushing through a barrier that maybe you had pushed against before and you've forgotten. And maybe this is a little bit of your past coming back in terms of your past self, your former self, some energy that you would have had maybe when you were younger coming through and you taking more risks because you don't really don't really, you, because you're so frustrated with what not taking risks or doing things the right way has gotten you. Um, this could also be the past basically not repeating itself. And because you decided, in other words, um, in other words, bringing back your former, your past self, a self that was not so constricted, you have inevitably this week pushed through a barrier so that you don't have to repeat the past. You've actually changed your life trajectory this week by changing the way that you would behave. You didn't behave normally. You didn't behave conservatively. You didn't behave by the rules. You sort of broke through them. And what that is doing is actually yielding a, a result that's a lot uh, better for you. This is be playful. I don't think you're playing around this week. Scorpio also got this card. Um, uh, maybe I'll attach the Scorpio reading to the end of this video. Scorpio also got this card. They're not playing around either. And I think this is a, a consequence of the frustration that you're feeling Capricorn, but you also could be dealing, you could be dealing with Scorpio, a Scorpio. Um, you could be getting serious with a Scorpio because this is water energy crowning your, um, 
crowning your crowning your reading, but it's also a sense of not playing around, being upside down, basically digging dirty, going dark, going into that place where you were normally afraid and maybe normally would have tried to avoid. Um, but Capricorn, you're not avoiding it anymore. You're not playing around. In other words, there's something here that feels like you're leveling up. Maybe you want to level up in a relationship. Maybe you want to level up in a job. Maybe you want to rev, uh, level up in a project or a commitment or investment. But I do think there is this urgency in you to make your time and the, your investment have mattered. There is a sense of, I need to make this matter. I need to make this count. I need to make this real. I need to feel this is real. I need to see some returns. That's what the mentality is. Um, I think all this week is that you're going to be feeling very frustrated and, and, and I need to see some returns and take, in other words, it's taking you to the point where this, this feeling is taking you to the point where you're actually willing to do things in a different way. You are never alone. So love is coming out for you this, this week. And that's really lovely, Capricorn. You are never alone. In other words, you are surrounded by people who have your back. You are surrounded by a supportive, probably a supportive family. And this is somebody singing your praises or calling to you, saying to you, like saying something, saying words that sound good and words that you want to hear. In other words, um, music to your heart. This is somebody, this is uh, maybe somebody or, in other words, good news is coming in that will make you happy this week. And it could have something to do with a love relationship, though you know that is in the extended video. So we'll see how that goes. One more card for Capricorn. Let's see, one or however many cards want to come out. But I just want to clarify this energy because Otter Spirit, you are never alone. So there seems to be something, sing your own song true to your heart you're being true to your own heart in other words you are expressing your feelings this week and that may be something that you normally would not have done but it's almost like i'm not playing around anymore we need to get right to the heart of the matter of things and i am expressing myself i am exp expressing i feel like this week capricorn you may be expressing your feelings for somebody or somebody may be expressing their feelings back to you, which actually lets you realize that they're not playing around and you're not playing around. And you both need something, you both need something more in your life. You actually also may be getting good news coming in that makes your heart happy. Whatever it is that makes your heart happy, not all of you are looking for a relationship. You could be um, waiting, waiting for a response for a job interview. Like and this is where your main um, kind of... Um, tension is happening. So think right now, wherever your main tension is happening, wherever your main concern is happening, Capricorn, that's what I'm talking about. There is going to be happy news coming in um, from you. There is going to be good news coming in that will make your heart happy. It's see, it, and I'm going to show you the cards. Just want to see if one more card wants to come out. Maybe it doesn't and that's okay. And then I'll turn the camera around. All right. All right. Let me turn the camera around. Hold on. Okay, so here's your spread, and this is what I'm talking about. See, it's almost like you're hearing something that has made you happy. No. Good girl. It's almost like you're hearing something. You're hearing something that has made you happy. Or that has made you feel secure. So you're getting good news that has to do with your security. This little bird is singing a tune and the heart is whole and happy. You may be hearing from somebody that you have not heard from in a while. That's also what retrogrades do, right, Capricorns? They bring back people or we receive messages from people who have been gone um, for a while that we have not heard from. This could be a Gemini energy. This could also, this is some sort of air energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, um, that you have not heard for and that makes your heart feel whole and happy. If just validated for some kind of value or worth coming from you, this is also could be some um, sort of, I don't know, I always hear music. I always hear a musical, music, like musical opportunity. Maybe you're going to see a show and it just makes you feel good. Maybe it's entertainment, going to a concert that just makes you feel better, feel better about your life, feel better about yourself, telling you, because this is, because of this energy, you have to refuel, you have to, you have to do whatever it takes this week to just heal yourself and make your heart feel better. And you could be going to a concert, maybe going to a concert with a loved one, going to a play with a loved one, 
But I really do feel like overall this is like good news that's coming to you. And it's going to help you understand like level up. You're not playing around anymore. You are not. You, it's almost like you refuse. Um, um, I don't know. See, this is the card that concerns me. And this is what I will, will want to clarify with tarot. Um, learn from the past is in reverse. So it's almost like maybe you're repeating the, from the past. But it almost seems like somebody from your past is coming back and giving you good news. It might be an opportunity coming from somebody from a job opportunity that you haven't heard from and you thought was gone. It may be um, finally being be, being sort of revealed to you. Somebody has had, had their eye on you and has been considering you for a while and it's just coming through now. It was sort of buried underneath um, and now the seriousness is coming out and being revealed. There is a sense of... Um, there is a sense of lightening of your heart because you know that a specific thing, someone, opportunity is now taking you seriously. That's what's going on this week. And so that's actually making you feel good because I think you were really feeling very frustrated and sort of flying in the wind like nothing was coming through or nothing was happening the right way. You got very, very sick of putting all your energy in and this could be why this card is upside down because this is very earth energy, uh, Taurus energy, Capricorn energy, especially flipped upside down, feeling like whatever you were doing was not enough. Um, but now you are reclaiming your power. And I do feel like there is word coming in that helps you to reclaim your power and shed some of this worry and frustration and feeling that you have to keep trying so hard. So we're going to go over to Vimeo and I want to clarify, like I said, especially this card. I'll do a full tarot card spread over on Vimeo and then boom, your romance reading. I'll see you over there, Capricorn.